Hi children, welcome back. Okay, in the last video we have solved exercise part uh, half. So in this video we are going to continue that one. Uh, from the second main we have solved till the third question. Then the fourth question is animals that produce milk to feed their young ones are called as dash. Yes. Uh, the group of animals which is going to produce milk within their body uh, are some animals like the like a monkey and the human being and the tiger lion uh, for example the animals which are going to give birth to their babies directly to their babies those all animal group is going to produce milk within them uh, bodies those all are called as mammals mammals what we call as mammals okay uh, then the young ones of a bird come out of their eggs during the process called as it's very easy that is hatching that is hatching that is hatching okay uh, i hope we all have finished this second main then let us move to the third main that is in the third main we have only the question answers First question is what is hatching? The process where the birds are going to uh, give heat to their eggs. Uh, okay. Uh, after getting some amount of heat, the young shell is going to break and open. Uh, after that, the baby will come out of the egg. This process is called as the hatching. And the second one is what is molting? Okay, what is molting? Uh, the process, especially this process takes place in the cockroach life cycle. Okay, the process in which the cockroach is going to shed off its old skin to become an adult cockroach. To become an adult cockroach. And this process is called as molting. That is shedding off of its old skin is called as mounting. And the third question is describe the structure of the young of a bird. Of course, we have seen already the shape of the young will be like this. Uh, this is the yellow part. This is the yellow part. Uh, actually, I don't have the color sketch pens. Sorry, a color uh, chalk pieces. Otherwise, I'd have shown you with the. This color is yellow color. This one we call as a yolk. Yolk act as a food for the baby or food food of the uh, baby inside the egg. And here we have a white transparent jelly like structure watery structure sticky watery structure this one we call as a albumin albumin which helps to the baby inside the egg to get the protein and some other um, uh, or like water content other uh, food materials for the baby and even it protects the baby which is called as the albumin and the yellow part is the yolk and this is the hard shell hard shell which protects the baby till it comes out naturally okay so these are the parts sorry uh, structure of the egg you can write okay and after uh, drawing this one, write about this. Okay, you will get this one in the textbook. Write about the yolk, write about the album, whatever I have discussed now. Just make a sentences and write that. And the fourth question is, what are mammals? Okay, um, mammals means the animals which give birth to the young ones. Okay, for example, a human being, monkey, lion, tiger, horses, donkeys dog cat hmm. these all are the uh, some of the examples the animals which give birth to their babies direct to their young ones okay these all are called as the 
even whales are also comes under the mammal these all are called as the mammals i hope you have copied this answer then the differentiate between a tadpole and an adult frog okay so while uh, explaining the structure sorry stages of the um, uh, stages of the frog life cycle of the frog i have explained you see here uh, <coughs> the first uh, uh first difference is that its body structure okay adult frog is completely grown adult frog is completely grown but tadpoles have not at all grown they don't have any legs and any hands for their body they just have a uh, only one head and very small compared to the uh, adult frog and then um adult frog can breathe through a skin or it has a separate uh, nose like structure uh whereas tadpoles do they do not do not have any body structure still because just now they have come out from the eggs they are going to breathe through the uh, uh gills as we have discussed adult frog is going to breathe through the skin or it has a some different body structure like nose and all it is going to breathe through that but the tadpoles are going to breathe through the gills and the body structure adult frog has all already four legs or two hands and two legs but tadpoles are not at all having any different body parts and then um, adult frog is adult it is going to give it can lay the egg but tadpoles are not at all going to lay the egg because tadpoles need to grow still to reach three steps to become the adult frog and then okay then tadpoles have to uh, grow until it uh, reaches the young frog or it reaches the adult frog and the uh, adult frog need not to grow this is how you can create a 3 to or 2 to 3 differences between a um, adult frog and the tadpole uh next question is um, okay fourth main okay we are here now for the fourth main that is again we have a question answers here in the fourth main that is answer the following questions first one differentiate between oviparous and the viviparous animals oviparous and and viviparous and viviparous viviparous okay ov means okay viviparous means um give birth to give birth to young babies or young ones here this lays eggs they will not give birth to the direct one these are going to lay the eggs so oviparous is animal which lays the egg in this animal birds can example you can write birds lizard crocodile snake these all you can write and in the uh, viviparous you can write the monkey and the human being the mammals mammals means uh, uh, viviparous you can call this one as a oviparous and we can call this one as a mammals okay in the oviparous uh, amphibians will come amphibians means snake and the frog snakes and the frogs second point is amphibians here second point is see i am making very short points okay while writing you have to write first one you should write the um, definition that is what are oviparous and what are viviparous after the definition give nicely the examples like snake frog for the oviparous which lays the egg and for viviparous write down man monkey donkey horse elephant 
you write to 10 to uh, 15 examples which give birth to the direct to their babies and viviporous we call them as the mammals mammals means the animals which give birth to the direct babies and here for oviparous we call as the amphibians also and even the birds also all types of birds are also going to lay the eggs amphibians will come birds will come and the lizard crocodile snake like this also animals will come but in this group only mammals will come i hope you have got the point so like this you can make a three two to three strong differentiation between oviporous and the viviporous okay briefly describe the life cycle of the butterfly we uh, already we have discussed this, uh, uh, explained i have explained we have um, discussed this one that is butterfly includes four to five steps and how it is going to become a leather yug and how it will become a caterpillar then the larva then the cocoon then the pupa stage then the young butterfly and then the adult butterfly so you just can take the help of textbook and describe that one in a brief here it is not possible for me to explain that one how is the life cycle of a cockroach different from the butterfly okay life cycle of the cockroach and the life cycle of the butterfly for example butterfly life cycle includes five steps cockroach life includes the only three steps so you can write there all the steps names second differential means all the step names and here as uh, compared to the um, cockroach life cycle of the cockroach here butterfly uh, life cycle is totally different because in the previous stages butterfly uh, life cycle in the, in the previous stages the butterfly will not at all look just like a butterfly it will look different only so that also you can write and then in the butterfly changing of its body structure takes place whereas in the cockroach the molting process will take place you can add this point also so other than this also you can add some other points also i hope you all have all are understanding these all the things whatever we have discussed in this video okay for you you have to complete these all exercise and in that you have to write to your own answer that is briefly explain describe the life cycle of the butterfly one and the uh, difference between the cockroach life cycle and the butterfly life cycle so in the next video we are going to start the next chapter if you don't have the textbook please take the textbook from your school and try to read whole lesson okay then if you read once it is very easy to you to solve these all the exercise part I hope you will do this homework and in the next video we are going to start the X lesson. Bye.